The reason that there are epidemics every year is the virus is capable of changing very rapidly. That's made it a challenge to treat with either vaccines or drugs. So that's why we're studying it. We're trying to learn more about how the virus becomes resistant both to antibodies and to drugs and uh, to make predictions uh, about how it's going to evolve in the future. I think that the um, advantage we have here is we have a multidisciplinary team. We have some virologists who study just the uh, pure ability of the virus to replicate. We have some immunologists who study the hosts. Uh, we have structural uh, people who are interested in structural biology, which allows us to see the chemistry of the host in and virus interaction, as well as people skilled in uh, bioinformatics and evolution, uh, which allow us to draw conclusions uh, about uh, the experiments. The virus has an interesting uh, genetic uh, makeup. It's composed of actually eight different separate segments of RNA, and that allows it to actually reassort so that you can have one segment in one virus and a different segment in another virus, and actually we've shown very recently uh, that that reassortment actually leads to new mutations, which may be one of the ways that the, the virus evolves. Uh, in addition, the virus has to package itself, uh, and then it has to exit uh, from the cell. And how it does all those things uh, is something that you need a whole uh, group of people to look at, because uh, one needs to determine the structure of the RNA, uh, the structure then of the proteins, and finally how they interact with antibodies and drugs. I think being at uh, UMass has allowed us to have access to uh, deep sequencing tools, bioinformatic tools that most institutions don't have, as well as access to structural biology to combine with the depth in immunology and virology. Ultimately, uh, one of our goals here would be uh, personalized medicine for viruses. Uh, we believe uh, that by looking at the sequence of a virus, which we can do much more rapidly as a result of uh, some of the projects we've done in the past, we should be able to make predictions eventually uh, based on structural uh, understanding and understanding of mechanisms that would allow us to determine whether a virus would be resistant to a vaccine, whether a virus would be sp resistant to a specific antiviral agent, and that should lead to uh, new ways to, to treat viruses, particularly flu, and we hope that the kind of bioinformatics approaches that we designed for this will have uh, ramifications for other viruses as well.